Hi, this is A. Pravin. I'm a postgraduate, human and a colorful world topic, least distance of a distinct uh, vision. So here, before going to that uh, topic, I'll give you a small demonstration to understand about uh, least distance of a uh, distant vision. Just here for this uh, activity, I'm going to take one uh, retarder stand to fix a book. Here, place a retarder stand on the table. Just uh, fix your view as you see here along the horizontal rod of a retarder stand. Then ask your friend to bring a book close to you from far distance, right? So here, just you have to observe closely the text on the book. Is it visible clearly or becoming blurred? And also concentrate on the muscles of your uh, eye. They are taking strain or without strain, you are able to see that uh, text on the book clearly. That you have to keep it in your mind. Then let us start. Here, book is brought. Then are you able to see that text from a distance? It may be 30 centimeters, 40 centimeters, whatever it may be. From there, that means here, if you hold your book in front of you, just stretch your hand in front of you, eyes long eyes. So it may be maximum 50 or 60 centimeters, right? So at that distance, we have started. If it is very clear, no strain on your eyes, then tell to your friend, it is okay. So ask your friend, is it visible or not? Okay, he's saying it is very clear. Then bring that book somewhat near to the person, observer. Again, brought somewhat near. Then again, ask your friend, is it visible or not? Yes, clear. Then continue that uh, text book moving towards the observer. If he is unable to see, just he will tell you, I am unable to see that. So wait for that response also. So here, brought the book somewhat near. Okay, no response. Okay, move it further. Yes, no problem. Okay, here, if he is giving, okay, here, he is unable to see the book. Here, it becomes blur. It becomes blur. That means here, at this distance, that uh, text on the book not visible clearly becomes blur. So here, at this distance, you are unable to see clearly. Then what happens if you take that book, bring that book very close? If you bring that book very close, we have to observe somewhat brought nearer. What happens? Here your eyes, muscles will take more strain here. You will feel more strain. So what to do? We are unable to see that uh, text on the book. Right? So here it is not clear. Then what to do? Just we have to move the book far from the person. So let it move in the backward direction. Then ask if it is visible. Okay, not visible. Move further. Okay, not visible. So move it somewhat. So adjust like that where it is without strain and the text clear. No, not becomes black. Right. So not blurred text. If it is clear, okay, very good. We are able to find out that at this distance, the person or the observer able to see that uh, text clearly on the textbook. So we have to fix the position of book here. So let us fix to the stand. So book is fixed. Then take the measurement between the person and the book. So position is fixed at that place. Person is able to see the text clearly on the book. So now fix the book and uh, take the measurement using the scale. So here the distance between the book and the observer to the eye, that distance. So here I'm indicated with the red colored uh, line, right? So take the measurement. So what the measurement is given here, the distance is 25. So here the minimum distance to see the book in front of eye without strain is 25 centimeters. This 25 centimeter distance is known as least distance of distant vision for a healthy eye. For a healthy human eye, 
the minimum distance to see the object without any strain by our uh, muscles, eye muscles, ciliary muscles, and uh, the text is very clear without blur. So that distance is designed as here 25 centimeters called as least distance of distribution. So we can define that least distance of distribution eyes. At what minimum distance in front of uh, our eye, the object is visible clearly without any strain by our eyes. That distance is known as least distance of a distant vision. Here, this least distance of distant vision is not same for all. It varies from person to person and also with the age. So this is about the least distance of our distant vision. So this is the topic of this uh, video. If you like this video, just uh, subscribe my channel and also share to with your uh, friends. Thank you.